Hi guys, it's Vanessa from To The Brim, and I just got home from a farmer's market, and I thought before I rode my bike, took a shower, got in my comfy clothes, I would sit down and I would do a scent haul. So I, somebody requested that I try, oh my God, Rustic Essentials, Essentials. And I also have found that I really like Virginia Candle Supply. And so while ordering a something, I ordered some samples too. So I'm going to do it all in one video because quite honestly, I don't know when I will have time again to do this because next week I have five markets. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five markets. I have a dozen mugs that are drying that I'm going to have to fire twice this week. And I am just really busy. So I want to be able to enjoy this and get you guys a video. So here we go. I have the scent notes for the Rustic Essentials and not for the Virginia Candle Supply because I'm busy and I don't have time. So the first one is, oh, I'm not going to look at it. The first one is, does this have tinfoil on it? No. Christmas. Let's see what this smells like in a candle. It smells um, like pine boughs. This smells like Christmas trees, but it also has like a weird camphor slash menthol. Oh wait, okay, I bet this is eucalyptus. Yes, it smells like eucalyptus. Juniper berry and cedar. It's pleasant. It's not that I don't like it. Juniper berry and cedar. I like it. Okay. Juniper berry and cedar. Fruity and woody. Manly. I mean, I wouldn't say so. Sparkling grapefruit. No. Citron. No. Juniper berries. Yes. Wild ivy. No. Warm musk, yes. Balsam. And it does smell a little bit like eucalyptus. So this is really good. I really like it. And it would make it a good standalone candle, but I think that it would also be good mixed with like another kind of Christmassy scent. This might be good with, actually this might be good with Cypress and Baby Area as well from Candle Science. That's a winner. I like that. I don't know what the throw is like. I have never tried this company before, but I like out of the bottle. Okay. This smells like flannel. The flannel dupe from Bath and Body Works and a vanilla sandalwood. Okay. Uh, I have no idea how to say this. It's probably amber, but it looks like ambre lumiere. Ambre lumiere! Yay! I think it's a dupe for whatever this is. Am amber lumer. Somebody tell me. I know I'm wrong, so I don't care. Just be like, you're an idiot. I already know, but you can tell me anyways. It smells like flannel. It just smells like flannel from Bath and Body Works. I mean, not exactly, but um like if you were looking for flannel and it was sold out and you used this you wouldn't really be disappointed okay citrus sparkle i guess earthy moss oriental florals amber yes vanilla musk indonesian patchouli i guess i mean it really just smells like flannel to me with a tinge of maybe like Mahogany teakwood or teakwood mahogany, whatever the hell it is. So it's fine. It's kind of masculine. It, it's a it's a clean masculine scent, so it's not um, it's not like cologne or anything, but it's definitely a nice like man cave candle scent. Okay. Uh oh, don't don't wipe your hand on your pants. This is eucalyptus for sure. Oh, show. And basically the description on the website was basically that it smells just like eucalyptus and even the menthol like layer to it. And I agree. Um, it sort of smells like when you smell actual eucalyptus, but it really reminds me of like a menthol eucalyptus cough drop. 
but this would be good mixed with like a maybe like a spa kind of a scent so eucalyptus so it smells like eucalyptus so that's legit it's not it doesn't smell fake that's a good one i didn't write the scent notes down for the, those ones guys because i ain't got time for that okay i have no idea what this is but i really like it it is different than anything else i've ever smelled it's clean it's pleasant but it's not one of those sharp um clean cotton kind of scents which i do not like it is round it is a round scent a little bit like rain like that green aquatic but not ozone not like ocean or whatever if this smells like this in a candle this is one of my top 20 oils of all time that i've ever tried barley grass okay so that's supposed to smell like oh huh. wait no do i wait are you about sick of me yet bergamot currant green apple peony violets mild flowers lavender white musk i mean peony violets wildflowers i don't smell lavender i don't really smell the white musk uh ber bergamot maybe bergamot but i don't smell currant or green apple so peony violets wildflowers and white musk it's real good it's real good it does not smell like barley it is i love this a lot like this is this isn't and this isn't like in a certain category like well i mean it's kind of like in the clean category but it's not like um real fruity or real cooking or um i don't know i'm fried i'm sorry guys i blah, 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 blah. i love it it reminds me of something though too hmm i love it I really love it. So the best one so far today is the barley grass. It's it's a phenomenal scent. The description that I gave you and the description of the scent notes does not do it justice at all. That isn't that's definitely if you're going to order from these people, you have to try that. I love this too. Well, except for there's like a dirt wait. No. Oh, what is this smell like? sugar like sugar sweet pea so sweet pea from bath and body works with like a cotton candy thing with it so there's layers to it Cut. Cal Calabrian bergamot and violet. I don't, I'm not even going to pretend I know how to say that. So, uh, okay. Bergamot. Yeah. Violet. Yes. Fresh. Citron. Fresh pear. Soft sandalwood. Man, uh, there is a weird thing though. helps there what is that there's a weird thing i don't know it might be on my hands though i don't know what does this remind me of there's one that i smelt recently that was good but it had like the baby diaper chaser if anybody remembers what one that is no, I really like this. This um, this is pleasant. I don't know if it's a good candle scent, though. Yeah, somebody would like this. Somebody would like this a lot. It's um, it's really good. So I'm really hoping that there's a good... Where's my winner? Is there over there? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't know. Also, I'm getting my hair chopped off. Well, you guys haven't seen me with my hair chopped off, but you will. 
Okay, so this is Christmas. It smells a lot like the first one that I smelled. I also have been known to order two of the same thing because I'm an idiot. So this could be exactly the same thing that I already smelled. This is the one that smells like eucalyptus. Sparkling pine and bergamot. Nope. The other one that smelled like this was juniper berries and cedar. Let me see how closely they actually smell. Yeah, they smell pretty similar. This one has more dirt in it, but not in a bad way. That just sounds horrible. Do I have food on my face? This is my cheat day, so I've been... All right, so whatever. Bergamo, freaking pine freaking you guys sparkling pine words sparkling pine bergamot it's good it's fine it's fine it's not good it's not bad it's uh it's like christmas trees with eucalyptus or something i don't know i just saw what that is i'm not smelling it i'm stirring it into the pot i don't want to know what I don't want to know what it is. Let's try this one. You guys. I like this too. Wait. What is this? Wait, this kind of reminds me of my mom's perfume. Am I messing my mom's birthday today in heaven? Oh, this reminds me of my mom's perfume. Okay. Patchouli rain. She used to wear casual. It smells like this. Somebody, and I'm so sorry, I don't remember who you were. Somebody commented, oh my God, I'm such an asshole. <sighs> Thank you, whoever you are, that you told me to go here because I like it and you told me to try this. Okay, all right, wait, 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 wait. I do smell incense slash uh, pot chole. But in the best way possible, this is probably the best patchouli that I've ever smelled because it's like, man, I like this a whole lot. It has a tinge when you go into like a record shop. Wow. It smells like incense a little bit, but not in a bad way. I love this a whole lot. It smells like patchouli, incense, and my mom's perfume. So it made me salivate. I wanted to like this. I think I know what this is. I think this is like unicorn farts or something, which I don't really... I can, I've been trying to think if I've ever actually smelled an actual unicorn fart. I don't think, I don't know that I've ever seen a unicorn when I've gone to the zoo. I've seen like turtles and like lions and zebras and whatnot, but I don't know that I've seen a unicorn. So I don't know that I've smelled a unicorn fart. It smells like bubble gum, cotton candy. Mr. Bubble, Snow Fairy from Lush, like jammed up. So bubble gum, cotton candy. Uh, grape, Snow Fairy. I don't know what to make of this. I like it. Oh, I don't have the, I don't have the shit for this one. I've just told you what it smells like. I don't need to tell you what the thing says because it's bubble gum, artificial grape, cotton candy. The first time around I said another thing. Eh. I mean, it's fine. It's, oh, come on. And stop wiping your fingers on your pants. I have my tie-dye pants on, I'm wiping. Is that? All right. A lot of clean scents today. Not that I'm angry about that, but I look angry about it. This reminds me of a shampoo from when I was like young, not pro. I don't know. 
hurt? No. It smells like clean cotton. Okay. All right, fluffy towels. It's supposed to just smell like warm fluffy towels. Literally, I think that's most of the scent description. It's clean cotton. It's a toned down clean cotton that doesn't slap you in the nostrils. But it's clean cotton. My mom used to like clean cotton and from Yankee Candle. Oh, that's what that smells like. I'm not complaining, but I don't like that scent. I mean, it's fine, but whatever. It really got up there too. I've smelled this exact thing before. Not from this company. But I have smelled this exact same thing. It almost smells like vanilla and sandalwood. And something. My Cabbage Patch Kid. Um, it smells like sandalwood vanilla because that's exactly what it is. <laughs> that was my sample that I got when I ordered wax from the Flaming Candle. So... I like that one. I, I do approve. And uh, I like it. I love a lot. It's like, I don't usually, I don't like sandalwood. I'm not a sandalwood fan. Um, it is really nice. Uh, the vanilla is there and the sandalwood. Yeah, but it's like a soft sandalwood. I've had sandalwoods smell like old lady. No offense to old ladies. I say that a lot, but no offense to old ladies. But like, come on. I'm not. Oh, look at this is open. Why is this open? We may have one that isn't a new one. Let's check it out. Did I already smell this? It smells like Christmas. Why is this open already? Did I open it and not pay attention? I'm telling you guys, no idea. All right, so this is Cozy Cabin from Virginia Candle Company, which smells different than Cozy Cabin from Aztec Candle, and it smells different than Cozy Cabin from The Flaming Candle. It smells more like the Cozy Cabin from The Flaming Candle, nothing like Aztec Candle. Aztec Candle supplies Cozy Cabin is cedar. And musk that's it just cedar and musk and this one has you know pine and earth and moss whatnot I like it but it's also got a little eucalyptus -y scent to it and I mean it's fine all right so the winners today are the sample I got from the flaming candle sandalwood vanilla like it Calabrian Bergamot and Violet. Patchouli Rain. It smells like incense and patchouli in my mom's perfume. And Barley Grass. I think that was my favorite. Let me see. It's friggin' pleasant. So, so, guys, I'm sorry. I just wanted you guys to have this because knowledge is power. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was entertaining. I don't feel very high energy today. So I hope that that wasn't like a total like shit show. But I figured I would do it before I get on my bike and look like even more trash than I already look like. And next time you see me, I'm going to have short hair. You're like, you already do. No, I have hot flushes and I don't like hair on my neck. And so I wear it up all the time. So I just, I don't know what's happening. Um... Okay, words of wisdom for people that are looking at doing vendor events, markets, craft fairs, pop-up, shit, whatever. Do it. Okay. Hi. Just kidding. Um, your ideas are going to evolve over time. When you create your vision, uh, you are going to, let's say you start, you create a scent line. Do not lock yourself into that. No matter how meaningful these scents are to you, there may be one 
that doesn't sell. You need to leave it. You need to get it out of your scent line. You need to replace it with something else. And the bottom line is that your customers need to drive your decisions of what to make and sell. Be willing to ebb and flow and grow and evolve with your customers because they're the ones that get to choose what you sell. And so don't be headstrong, like don't be an asshole. Don't be like, well, it's my business, so I get to sell what I want. That's great if you don't want to sell anything. Go for it. But your sense, your color scheme of whatever, your, um, you know, my, my beach mugs and the ones that say liquid patience and the ones with quotes, they always sell immediately. So that's what I need to make because that's what people want, right? So if I make a lot of things that aren't that, I may not sell them at all. And then I'm wasting my time and essentially wasting my customer's time because I know what they want and I'm not giving it to them. You're going to sell more of some scents than others because some scents are more universally appealing and some scents mean something to you, but maybe aren't gonna be a big crowd pleaser. So it's okay, but you have to, you have to be honest with yourself about that. And, and it doesn't mean you can't carry that scent, but just because you like something, like I have this pipe tobacco candle that I have worked about a year and a half, two years to find the perfect blend of oils to make it smell the way that I want to make it smell. I've had people come from all the way across a big market saying, oh my gosh, is that pipe? I love that. Okay. Cause I burn a wax melt at the farmer's market. I've had people smell it and were like, that smells nothing like pipe to me that's what the smell is that I was going for. And I have accomplished that. And a majority of people agree with me, but don't get bent out of shape. If somebody's like, that's not what has not, don't buy it then. Right. You're not making people smell. I'm being an asshole. Anyways, I don't even know what the hell I was talking about. You guys. And now this is where you're getting the entertainment because the friggin' fragrance thing was a shit show. And now, now, going off the rails on a crazy train. Don't quit my day job because that sucked. And you didn't even buy a ticket to that. Wait, you didn't. All right. If this was, I got to go ride my bike for an hour, guys. Burn off the freaking crap I ate at the farmer's market. You want to know what I ate today? Crap all day. And I'm going to eat more. So I got to go bust out an hour on my bike so I don't feel like a big tub of shit. Anyways, if you like this kind of complete and utter nonsense, think about subscribing, click the notification bell, and you'll be reminded anytime I upload a video. I'm going to try, but uh, it's market season and I have four markets every week and then some extra things thrown in. So I'll do as much as I can. I am going to try to do a Halloween-ish oil haul. I did find one oil so far that I absolutely love and I'm absolutely gonna have for my like Halloween thing. Uh, markets are great. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's a lot setting up a 10 by 10 and two tables and crates full of mugs and all this stuff. It's a lot. I love it so much. Like I do not regret leaving nursing at all. Like I, there's not any little part of me that's like, well, you could go back and throw pills at people, whatever. I mean, I, I feel that I have done I gave my heart and my soul to the people that I cared for and I cared for them like they were my own family and I know I made their lives better, but now it's time for me to take care of myself. That's what I'm doing. So don't be afraid to do the same thing. Follow your own freaking path. You definitely need to have a job while you are bringing your idea to fruition, but it is a lot of work, but it is worth it and I'm making a full-time income doing it and I'm working for myself 100%. So I hope that was some sort of pep talk. I don't know. Guys, I need to go ride my bike. But I should probably have another piece of zucchini bread first because I'm an idiot. Okay, bye. <music>